Finding a reliable water source in a survival situation is paramount. The problem, however, is identifying whether the water is safe to drink. Behind me, we have a watering hole, which is frequented by local wildlife, such as buffalo, wild boar, and deer. The water is dirty and stagnant, and provides a perfect breeding ground for bacteria and parasites. How are we gonna treat this is by either boiling the water. We're looking for a one minute rolling boil, and don't forget to add one minute for every thousand foot of elevation. The second method is gonna be modern filtration, and the third method is gonna be chemical sterilization. Behind me, we have a river. The water is flowing and muddy in color, but don't be tempted even by a clear river. We treat rivers as contaminated water sources. The reason being, they flow for very long distances in normal circumstances. And therefore, the chances of contamination entering upstream by humans or animals is very high. We treat the water once again with the choice of boiling, chemical sterilization, or modern day filtration. Water vines are another fantastic water source and are commonly found in tropical regions. Right here in front of me, we have one, and we can identify this by the bark. It should be a scale-like appearance and should be very flaky. You should be able to pull it off with your fingers. So what I'm gonna do for you is cut off a three-foot section, a section that I can easily handle, and we'll get some water out. The next thing you want to look out for is the purple ring on the inside of the bark. That's how you know you've got a water vine. Lastly, and most importantly, the water must be clear. No white milky sap. Not only does this not need purification, it's full of minerals and it tastes fantastic. Here we have a vine which is not a water vine. And let's look at the characteristics. First of all, the bark is a blister-like appearance. That gives us our first warning sign. Our second warning sign is gonna be indicated by the white milky sap that comes out of it. You can see it on the edge of the machete. This to us is clearly not a water vine, probably poisonous and should be avoided. Now the safest water source is going to be from natural spring. This is where the water seeps out of the earth. It's very important that we don't take the water from too far downstream where it might already be contaminated. We want to find the water right at the source and if you can do that it will be naturally purified, clear and full of minerals. To my left we have a natural spring coming out of limestone rock. And this is as good as we could hope for.